welcome back to Monster Hunter World, Episode Three. Fun our lines, Roger as your host. Let's go ahead and start it right up. And trying different, uh, a lot of different things. See what works and see what doesn't work. I was trying different uh, settings, looking up tutorials, YouTubing. It's a struggle. It's painful. But uh, don't let your dreams become dreams. Do the best you can. Just do it. It's not easy, but just do what you can. One day at a time. Even if it's just one hour at a time. Whatever works. Anyways, it's been a long day, got off, and I'm gonna do some recording. Let's see what we got. All right, now that you've got some materials, why don't we head over to the smithy to see what you can do with them? Sounds like a good idea, but I see some exclamation marks. So uh, there's some NPC that wants me to talk to. Let's go ahead and see what's up. Yes? The chief. Ecologist, a hunter from the fifth, are you? Then you must have finished your first quest. This is an ecological, ecological research headed by yours truly. Tell me, did you find any monsters data out there? Tracks, gashes, that sort of thing? Data tell us the story about the monsters. An elaborate and interesting one at that. Your job in the field team is to track the monsters, collect the data, and advance the study. Our job is to take the data, analyze it, compile our finding for the commission. What we learn helps you on the field, too. So you see, we need each other. Drop by here anytime. I'll show you what we're working on. So, what is it? So pretty much what it sums up to is you dig, you find stuff, you level up, the more data you gain, and it um, makes tracking monster a lot easier. And that's the basic sum of it. So the more I hunt down the uh, Zora Magus uh, tracks, the more levels I get, the more I can find out. Like so are these monsters all too. So yeah. You're actually really hunting monsters compared to uh, the other series before, where you kind of just wander around and hit paintball and track them down. Alright. Ooh, Poobo's in a good mood today. I wonder where Poobo is. It's a pig, pet pig. On this place. Oh, there it is. So, what you just want to do is you want to talk to it, make friends with it. See that simulation mark and press the button and there you go. And it looks like there's a login bonus. I'm gonna press try and see what I got today. Uh, got two trap tools. Yay. Okay. Let's see oh, what the squad manager wants. Oh hello fa fever. Fiver. Where are we're all ready to open a trap and gathering hub, the Celestial Pursuit. At the gathering hub, you can meet up with other hunters and embark on quests together. To find the Celestial Pursuit, just look up, see the ship atop the asteroid, and look like it's about to sail off to the start. That's it. You can get up there by taking the lift. Please come visit us as soon as you get the chance. Yes, ma'am. Let's go upstairs and see what's up. So they want me to talk to the blacksmith, so I'm gonna go ahead and do just that. Or is this person with the armor? Maybe somewhere else. That person over there. But let's talk to the blacksmith first. There you are, fighter. Let's give him a nice accent. Aye. Look who's back with material. Step right up. Welcome to the smithy. You have been needing my service a lot. What I do for you is simple. Whatever you go out in the field, get a material. I turn the material into weapons and armor. 
Drop by whenever you find something new or interesting. Yeah, I'll give you some material as a welcome present. Use them to upgrade your equipment. So while we're hammering today, together this time. So pretty much you fight monsters, you kill them, you loot the corpse, and you make the weapons. It's not like that. So let's go ahead and upgrade our equipment. And instead of the switch axe, let's give the uh, insect glaive a try. I played it a few times, but still getting the hang of it. Uh, we just talked about the wish list. Once you can collect all the materials you need, it'll notify you that you collect all your materials and you can forge the weapon now, which is really nice. All right, level it up. Equip now. And a little more? I don't think I can. No. These are beyond what I have. But the insect layer comes with an insect as well, which is not your, your insect. So it's your buddy. You, know, you love it up, the stronger it is, the better. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it a tad bit stronger. It's gonna need me to iron ore. It's a lot simpler from before, because before you need to collect like whole bunch of plants and resource and nectar in order to make the uh, bug stronger. But now they made it get a bit more simpler, so it's not as hard. Alright, let's see what this guy's up to. So, the fifth has arrived. Greetings there. I'm the airship engineer, I want to set complete. I work on flying machines, airship, and what have you. I'm sure you're curious about why you haven't met a member of the third yet. That's because I've been stranded for years. I was long after the scholars from the third landed before they insisted upon crossing the green, the great ravine. So they got their ship, converted into airship, and off they went. It was going well until they, after they crossed the ravine, a flying monster attacked the airship and grounded them. Sure, they were reckless to go, but seeing as I'm the man who put them in the air, I can't help but feel partly responsible at all. Ever since then, I've been working on making a better airship, one that I could use to go rescue them. But between the new world, nasty weather, and the strong winds, Hurting down the ravine, it's been one ferry after another. Still, you won't catch me calling the quits. It's actually a very important key factor that maybe we'll meet this uh, beast that took them down. Looks like the cat has something to say. Let's see what's up. You're interested in poking up the cat team with more ingredients. Now if I'm talking about, take care of the quest, Virgo Affliction, Ancient Force, and the menu will be packed with Great Jagger's Belly. Finish the one up, and I'll be able to get my paws and goods, don't let me down. Yes, unfortunately I won't remember the accent, I'm just making it up as I go. Alright. Hey there, partner. Alright, the next time we need to care of all those, get us on. The chief said he tagging along with us. How about we start our search in the ancient forest and go from there? Oh, I must. Got some good news. We handle posts, all leads. We find up to the quest board. It's very hard. High tone. I'm just not going to do it. You can uh, sign up for quests there too. So uh, you don't always have to uh, come all the way up here. But then again, you might miss out on all you can eat up here. Thing. You can pick up quests stuff. from the quest board too. It lists the same quest that I've got, so don't worry about having to check two places. We're gotcha. On the hunt. Let's head to the ancient forest to research the Kassadon. Sounds like a plan. Talk about lucky, lucky uh, vulture. You get those from uh, daily login. If you uh, decide to activate them, they uh, increase your drop rates and uh, luck overall. But 
Press triangle to use the vulture? Sure, we'll use it. Why not? So if you farm a monster, you should totally go do it. I'll give you better drop rates. I for never really bothered too much of it. I just RNG it. Best of luck. Yep. <sighs> Not trying to record video footage and making it look beautiful. It ain't easy, but you gotta keep on trying. And don't give up and just keep at it. Maybe everything will work out okay. Just maybe. Right, old man? <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and set the quest. Up, up, and away. So, I'm using this uh, Blue Yeti microphone. It's really nice, but I'm trying to be very careful not to pick up any noise around me. I'm uh, in the living room, so I might be bouncing everywhere, but I'll see what's up. Okay. Our job is to call a certain number of Kestodon. Recently, their numbers have been getting out of hand. Wanna get going? Sounds like a plan. Let's grab some stuff in here. Yeah, I'm following that. That's fine. See what she has to say. You don't have to, but you can. We're on the hunt! Our objective is to research and then thin out the herd of Kestodon and been building up. We need to take both. You take out both male and female. Just for reference, you can tell them apart by their head shape. Really? No. Hey, Chief, how's it going? I'll call him Chris Redfield because he sounds like Chris Redfield. Then again, I want to call him uh, Guts because, you know, he has a great sorry. They don't have a name, so you can make up whatever name you want with them. Ah, there we are. Those, my friend, are casted on. Let's see you take him out on your own. Huh. Sounds like a plan. Let's take it out. So once I collect their um resources from them, I can do combos. Let's fly. Pretty cool, but once you get used to it, it's not too bad. Well, it takes a while to get used to all those aerial acrobatics. But it's pretty cool though. Get it working. There you go. Just in case, check our user gauging bell or shrines. Missed the first text, but. Alright, let's look for another group. Be careful. The Castadon are the least of your worries. There are a lot bigger monsters lurking in this forest. The endemic life around here can come in handy during a hunt. Try to learn as much as you can about them. Very true. Sometimes there's two or three or four giant monsters lurking around. Very dangerous. I think I'm going the wrong way. Oh, let's follow the scout flies. They know where they're going. Oh, on the left, I see a green dot. I'm sure that's indicating where I need to go next. So I'll just go there. Over. over here. All right. Be oh. careful. Stones. Game face on. Here we go. Got the sharpen my blade. Yeah, don't forget to sharpen blade. So once you uh, lose your sharpness, you bounce. So stay green as much as you can. And certain monsters just makes you bounce no matter what. So I gotta find the weakness and exploit it.
see what's going on there. Alright. Oh, jeez. up our work here wait hey come here I think I found something my presence huh then but and don't forget to sharpen your blade our sharpen your blade let's go zero Two to one over here. Here. Hmm. Look at those Kestodon. Something's up with them. <laughs> Down. All right, partner. New assignment incoming. Take down that great Jagras. If you're not ready, you can return to base and take on the great Jagras quest later. Want to get going? On the tracks. If you need to call your friends for help, go to the menu and select SOS Flare to signal them. Your wildlife map keeps track of where you are and where the scout flies are taking you. You can also use it to keep tabs on monsters. And you're going to need friends when you go up against some of the tougher monsters. In order for the scout flies to better track a target monster, we need to keep finding traces of it. Like footprints, for example. How do you want this way? So, this is actually monster hunting where you look at his footprint and you track him down. Follow the oh, there's a pooper right there. It's not him, it's someone else, I believe. Good. You're turning up a lot of clues. Oh, my club. Let me just clean. Okay. Okay. We've tracked the Great Jagras enough for the scout flies to lead us to it. Once you level up enough, finding one track will automatically give it to you. So just hunt more and you'll eventually get it. You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. The insect glaive is a close range weapon that lets you control pin sets. So right now I'm trying to collect all four elements. All three elements. Sorry. The red is for attack. The white is just. I'm not sure it's that though. I guess so. But if you collect all, all uh, colors, all three colors, you get a really nice buff. But collecting all three is quite tricky. So I'm not sure where the, uh, what you call from. My kid's main here. It's not a nice. And with this button down the front, Oh, it's quite time. Now's your chance to talk.
So if you win that minigame, you get to do a special attack on him. And knock him down. Right, walk away, walk away. Monsters are running away. So the the sky flies as a guide and they'll lead you right to him. The basic of monster hunting. Yeah, so this that buff doesn't last that long, but it gives you a really nice buff overall. With the insect clan. He's over there somewhere. I'm looking at the bottom left corner of the map. I see his icon. So he's over here somewhere. Ooh, enemies. Lots of them. Let's find the boss. Take them all on. And scarred. The red. The white. The orange. And that's my white right there. Yeah, so you only in the air for so long, depending on your stamina. So if you have like a energy drain that gives you like unlimited stamina, that would help. You don't want to take this like Yeah, I'm looking at my uh weapon sharpness, it's down really low. I'm gonna keep attacking this. Sharp sharpness though. Leave me alone, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's probably the best idea to do this. Be strong enough to be done. But... Ah, oh, can't reach it. Oh, 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 come on. Right there, right there. Yeah! Too much air time. That was cool though. Bad chase. Where's it going? Get back here. Beast Falls. There you go. All right. Okay. So recording is going so far, so far, so good. Uh, usually, what happens when I record, sometimes it blacks out on the screen. It's probably because I'm touching something or. Bumping my computer is causing it desynced. It sucks when that happens. So you, you kill the boss, you can make his weapon or armor piece, but you have to collect so many pieces. I probably use this flash thing. Go psh, really flash. And blind him and attack him. Like this. Take that. Now they don't see me. Ho 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 <laughs> I think we got a lead. Hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out.
Well, you were right. There's our mark. The monster. Something's got him agitated. <laughs> Look over there. What in the heck is that? I've never seen anything like it. You think it's from Zora Magdaros? I'd like to find out. But we better report back first. All right? Item box and then you can always use it later to forge your equipment. It's better to just send it there and say sell everything. It depends if you need money or not, but you can send them on the item box. Yeah, the cat loved up, nice. I'm gonna try to render my video when I go to sleep. That's how it goes. I wonder how long I'll take. At least this one. That's good footage. If you're doing monsters, bug. I see. Oh. Alright, so you think you found something that will lead you, lead us to Zora Magdaros. Well, I'll send you some researchers out right away. Out right now. But not with the uh, piss off Pika Pika hanging around. Pika Pika. Piki Piki territory. That's pretty deep in the forest. We better equip to take it on. Once our team from the research center is done rebuilding the forest camp, once it's ready, we what can make going? our noise. Until then, we do everything we can to help them out. Help them get that camp up and running. Let's get to it. Once the camp is right. set up, you can go after that Puke Puke. Hmm. I wonder where the resource center is. Sancho, have you gotten used to how things work around here? New world, new rules is something you'll have to get used to. But you'll get used to it. You'll have your life counting on it. Not to mention others as well. Look around you, everyone's here. Strange or crazy, as they may seem. They all cross the sea, just like you. They all carry out their duties. They looked at a new world in the eyes and realized the old way of doing things wouldn't cut it. Didn't stop them, though. They have, they had their, they had conviction. Do you have conviction, Hunter? <laughs> you should get to know your colleagues. Maybe some of them craziness will rub off on you. I think if I keep on reading, we'll become a better reader eventually. This guy looks pretty awesome. Oh yeah, I should show us our room again. Maybe we can get our uh, DLCs and claims. I think once you uh, finish that one quest I did earlier, I think, well, maybe it's only four. Yeah, in episode two, you should be able to claim your stuff after that. Okay. So just claim your items. Forest charm. Set my side. Beginner items. Look at that. Okay, you can also change your handlers off as well. I decided to get the DLC for the handler from a Monster Hunter Generation. Very nice that they uh, gave that option. Our default outfit, it's okay. But this outfit, hey, partner. lots of win. Alright. And that should be about it. But uh, I'll show you guys again the samurai outfit. Really quick. Um, change your appearance is changing your face. 
I'll show you guys really quick. So you can always go back and re-edit your character. I think the only thing you can do is change your gender. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. I'm showing you that, so if you don't like your character, what they look like, you can always change them up a bit. Hairstyle, color, scar, age. Just can't change your gender unless you want to make another character. Alright, and the next thing we'll show you guys is the appearance armor. All you have to do is you can change individual parts and pieces of the helmet and legs. Depends on what you want to do, or you can change all of it. Look like that. And you can also, I believe, you know, oh yes, right there. Change the color of it as well. Be like a white samurai. It should be an orange samurai. Blazing orange. They never see us coming. <laughs> oh, gotta confirm. And confirm here. And finish. Yes. There you go. So this goes on top of your armor. It's just for a fashion look. So it's pretty cool. They gave you uh, that option. And see here. Let's go here. Jester, there you go. Well, thank you guys uh, for coming by. Uh, I'm just gonna see how long the video was and do a few editing and see how it goes from there. So I'm trying different techniques and learning different things and trying to improve my video overall. And uh, trying to be entertaining as much as I can and figure out what to do from there. So thank you very much. You guys have been awesome. Comment, subscribe, like, or uh, thumbs down if you didn't like it. But uh, gotta try, gotta start somewhere. It's not easy, but gotta do what you gotta do. Every day. One day at a time. Take it one day at a time. Thank you guys for being here, and I'll catch you guys next time. Alright, Roger out.